friends welcome to ace education in last video we have seen some problems on isometric projection now we'll try to cover one different problem from isometric projection so friends these are the two views that we have been given one is front view and second is top view the origin points are also mentioned in the front view and top view so when we are going to draw the front view that will be coming on right hand side point of the origin as origin is given on left hand side so very first thing we are going to start with the total length overall length overall height and the breadth of the object if you find out the total length here from extreme left hand side point to extreme right hand side point we can consider here or we can check the radius of the semicircle is 30 r30 so this is 30 then 30 60 60 plus 25 that is 85 85 plus 30 that is 115 and from this point to the right hand side point so this is what center line itself so from the center line you can see the right side distance would be the radius of this semicircle that is given again 30 so 115 plus 30 that is 145 We'll take multi-line text. The total length we are getting as 145. The total height we are getting as total height you can see here that would be what? The total diameter of the semicircle. So if radius is 30, total diameter of semicircle would be 60. That is the height. And that then total breadth would be what? In the top you can see the total breadth is available is again the diameter of semicircle. So that is again R30 means diameter 60. To change the scale, select the text and then change the scale here. I'll make it 8, enter, and then close this. Now, once you give this text, we'll try to draw the rectangles that are representing front view, side view and top view so go to this layer of projection take line command and before that we must change the grid here that is what snap grid so go to the snap setting here and in the snap setting in the snap and grid option you have to click on isometric snap as a snap type then click ok now once the grid is changed make ortho mode on and then in this worksheet click anywhere as the origin point and towards the right i want to draw the total length which is 145 i'll type 145 and then press enter now this is what the length you have just drawn now you want to draw the height as well in this rectangle from this end point drag the mouse vertically upward give 60 that is the height enter Take on left hand side again 145 enter downward 60 enter this rectangle represents the front view length versus height towards the right hand side of the origin we can see the front view so of course towards the left hand side the side view can be seen so i will drag the mouse on left hand side for which you have to change the position here also plane left you have total breadth as 60 give 60 enter you have total height again 60 enter and then breadth again 60 enter because in the side view the breadth and height is visible but now when you come to the top view here in the top view you know that horizontal dimension is what the total length and vertical dimension is nothing but the breadth no height can be seen in the top view Either you can draw the line here 145 and 60 or you can just copy also I'm just copying these lines select this line right click do left click on this end point and click the end point over here similarly you can copy this line as well from this point to this point now this is what you have just drawn the plane for top view now we start the actual drawing as you know that 
from origin point no line is started so we need to draw the semicircular or circular part first i am going to start with the front view where number of circles can be seen but exactly in which plane these circles are made it is not made on extreme right hand side plane so these circles are not visible on this right hand side plane but it is at the center positions so first of all we must have that plane where we are going to create these circles so this circle and semicircle can be seen on a plane which presents on this line itself so we must locate this plane first what would be the position of this plane because this distance is 20 the total distance is 60 so 60 minus 20 is 40 and if you distribute 40 on both sides equally we get 20 mm itself so we will leave 20 mm from both the sides and then we'll create this plane to draw these circles so with the help of projection layer take a line command and from this end point towards the left hand side measure 20 mm enter draw vertical line of 60 enter then towards the right hand side change the plane again i'll be taking a distance as 60 itself 6 0 enter then in downward direction 60 enter then towards the left 60 enter so i just created square here that of size of what 60 by 60 so within this plane itself you are going to draw the circles you have just created the plane at this position at a distance of 20 mm from this point so now on this plane we are going to draw the circular hole and semicircle which is having diameter 30 and diameter 60 i'm choosing center layer to have center point and from the midpoint midpoint to midpoint you can draw a line here also midpoint to midpoint on this plane you can draw another line so you must have a center point to draw the circle and semicircle now you can change the layer to the continuous one go to the command ellipse enter click on isocircle specify the center point and the very first circle was having diameter 30 so i'll give here radius as 15 enter similarly second ellipse you can create at the same point and you can drag the semicircle radius was 30 i'll give 30 enter now you have just created one is outer circle of diameter 60 or radius 30 and inner circle of diameter 30 so go to the trim command and you can easily trim this right hand side circle itself the part of circle which comes on right hand side now if you see i can draw a line from this point to this point that would be having total measurement at 30 plus 25 that is 55 but if you project this line in top view you can see the line is coming till 30 itself the 25 distance is having different plane so we'll draw the 30 mm line itself first line command 30 enter 30 enter now you know that this similar type of profile semicircle and circular profile can be seen at a distance of 20 mm on left hand side so we'll just copy both the profiles this semicircular profile this line and circle right click do left click anywhere change the plane and drag the mouse in the same direction towards the left hand side give distance 20 enter now you can draw the line joining the quadrant points of this curve once quadrant point is highlighted click there and then remaining lines can be trimmed here like this curve cannot be seen The part of circle also cannot be seen.
but this part of circle can be seen from this circular hole once that much part is done now we'll move to the next part we have just drawn this much profile till these two points now we can draw the surface moving 20 mm outward so we can take a line command and from this point towards the left we'll measure 20 mm enter similarly we can draw another line from this point as well that is 20 mm towards this side and from this point towards the left 20 mm enter so we have just drawn the profile which is moving outward from this block and then from this point we'll draw we'll try to draw a line continuously but still if you project this line in front of you this line is coming 25 mm distance from this point to this point so we'll draw this 25 mm line take a line on right hand side 25 mm enter 25 mm enter and from this point also 25 mm enter as here also one edge can be seen at the these two corner points so this vertical edge can be seen between these corner points similarly beyond this surface part of this edge also can be seen so i'll just extend that line and i'll trim the unwanted line beyond the surface now once it comes to 25 mm towards the right it moves inward now it moves inward by now it is again 60 minus 20 that is 40 40 gets distributed equally on both sides that is 20 and 20 so now you can see from both the points it is coming downward and from this point it is coming in upward direction that can be seen in front view so come to the diagram in the front view the upper line is coming in downward by 20 mm enter and this bottom line coming upward by 20 mm and then enter so this profile is visible in front view so that's why i've drawn this profile over here so once you draw this front view profile you can move to the top view profile in the top view you can see this line is continuously visible from end to end point so in the top view we'll draw this dark line from this point to this point and now we'll try to draw this circular profile circle and semicircle so this is a plane where it can be seen as a circle and semicircle so this is at a distance of 20 mm from the top in the front view we are going to draw a circle and semicircle in this plane so we'll create that plane here take a projection layer from this line command i'll draw a 60 mm line towards the right then towards the left change the orientation towards the left again 60 mm and then towards the backward direction you have to again change the orientation it is again 60 enter so i'll change the layer to the center line and then i'll draw midpoint to midpoint similarly i'll draw another line from midpoint i'll just extend that line beyond so i get a center point in that plane itself you can see this plane is 20 mm below from this point and it is visible in front view so this plane is 20 mm below which can be seen in the front view so in this plane we are going to draw the circle and semicircles which can be seen from the top view you can see here top view when you will be looking from the top the circle and semicircle can be seen there so i will change the layer to the continuous one give command ellipse enter click on iso circle then click on the center point drag the mouse now if you see the circle is not being made in exact plane change the orientation again 
now you can give the radius here the inner circle diameter is 30 so radius would be 15 i'll give 15 then enter similarly another ellipse command click on iso circle give intersection point as center and then give radius as 30 enter now this is what you have drawn the semicircular profile so in the top view only right hand side part of the circle would be visible the left hand side part would be trimmed so go to the trim command and trim this left hand side part of the circle Similarly, the part of circle which is coming beyond the surface cannot be seen here. So trim that part also. Now, you know that from the semicircle, this line is coming to the end point. So just draw this both the lines from the quadrant point of the circle. Now this line can be seen only half length or partial length of that line. Now, just we have drawn here circles and semicircle in the top plane. Now, this top plane is getting repeated by the thickness of that block. The thickness of this block is again 20 mm. So, this profile will copy by 20 mm over here. Go to the copy command, select this semicircle, circle this line, right click, then do left click anywhere and drag the mouse in downward. Your distance 20 enter and then press escape to come out of that command take a line command and join the quadrant to quadrant of both the circles and then you can trim one by one as you can see this curve would not be seen so i'm just going to trim that part similarly the part of this circle cannot be seen only this part of edge which can be seen from this circular hole that would be visible so this way we have just created this diagram uh, we have just completed this isometric diagram now you can just turn off the projection layer now if you look at this diagram carefully you can see one line is missing in our diagram where two vertical surfaces are meeting each other so you can see here this surface and this surface are meeting so this corner point to this corner point one vertical edge must be visible at that point after drawing this line this isometric diagram is completed so friends i hope you understood all the concepts that i taught in isometric projections so keep trying new complex problem in the upcoming video we'll see how we can project the different solids as well so till then keep practicing and thank you for watching